All right, y'all. Delaware Paddle Sports Kayak Fishing Team member and Native Watercraft Pro Staff Lou Martinez here, and today I want to talk to you about my top three choices for river smallmouth. Um, spent a lot of time on the river this year on my Native Watercraft Ultimate FX12, and absolutely had a blast, and really got to where I was dialing in the fish daily uh, on what they were doing. Now. There are a ton of baits that are going to work for river fishing. I mean, you can throw, you can get out there and throw swim baits, you can throw spinner baits, you can throw crawls, you can throw tubes, um, you know, Texas rig stuff. You probably can even, well, drop shot and doesn't work all that great. Just tends to get hung up a lot. Uh, but I'm sure you could do it. If, if that's your poison, by all means, these are my top three choices. Uh, and, and they are definitely things that when I go out there and I'm competing in tournaments, these are what I'm going to. These are going to go be my go-to baits. And from what, you know, just the, the knowledge that I've gained this year from listening to other competitors, these are what other people are going to be throwing too. Uh, so it's one of those things, if you're not throwing these, you're going to be missing out. Um, so let's get into it. What we're going to cover are top, middle, and bottom presentations and you know that's going to cover your entire water column in there and get you fish no matter where they're at no matter where they're uh, they're hiding whether it be rocks crevices current whatever so for the top man there's just one bait and I think everybody's gonna know what this one is uh, that just has been killing big fish all maybe saying killing is not a good word but you know that people have just been out there smashing fish on and that's the whopper plopper this is going to be your top water presentation that's going to allow you to cover loads of water which is why this is an excellent excellent presentation the next presentation that's going to allow you again to cover lots of water is going to be your square bill right here i've got official bait square bill in kind of a goldish color this goldish color man this is one of those top colors that's going to work all throughout the country you know check out some of john b's videos to where he's throwing gold type colors you know these are kind of those best colors for river smallmouth other things are going to work by all means what i'm giving you today is the top three that cover your top middle bottom which is going to be your whopper plopper your crankbait whatever your preferred crankbait is and then for the bottom one, man, the uh, the, the go-to, which is going to be the Ned Rig, paired with a TRD, man. This thing, I, I tell you, almost my first cast with one of these, and I caught a fish. And I was just casting kind of in the middle of nowhere. It was just one of those, like, oh, let it out and let it drop. And, and I caught a fish. You know, this thing is just a phenomenal river fishing machine. You're going to be able to put... You know anywhere to 20 to 50 fish on just one of these whereas if this if you were cutting cinco's down or using four inch cinco's you're going to be going through those like like nobody's business but this one's going to hold up uh, another pairing that I, you know a, a, a one that i would definitely put out there as a uh, other potential is again the the z-man but it's the hula skirt uh, this was another one that is like man they, it was hitting the water and they're gobbling that thing up all right, y'all. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, these are my top picks for targeting river smallmouth. That's your top water presentation, then the whopper plopper, uh, the middle water column presentation being a square bill crankbait. Uh, I know I didn't say that in the video, but you know, I really meant square bill crankbait or anything that's really diving in that three to five uh, foot range. And, and finally, the Ned rig to cover that bottom uh, water column so as always guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please do so and y'all have a good one